it's Natalie and I have a video and a blog post today for a cherry on top. I am starting a mini album for a recent vacation. I'm doing an eight by eight. You can see right here. And so I'm going to do a, a layout, an opening, a, a double page spread, if you will. But one page is going to be this pocket page sheet there. Um, it's just four, three by four card size um, pockets. So I'm going to do these two photos and then I'm going to pick two um, three by four cards that I think they're the sun, the sun kiss collection by Coco Vanilla Studio that came out last year. Super gorgeous collection. It coordinates really well with the um, 49 and market spectrum sherbert collection which is where these six by eight papers you can see here on the right came from so i am going to take these six by eight papers and make an eight by eight um canvas for this large four by six photo well it's large when it's in an eight by eight album i guess so i'm just cutting two strips of the rainbow paper and i'm going to put them at the top and the bottom of this pretty like cute distressed um six by eight paper and i'm showing you i'm using the guides here on my um tim holtz glass mat i i'm not gonna go ahead and stick it down just yet but um there you can see like that's how much it's gonna show it fits perfectly to put this large photo and i'm gonna use um one of these die cuts from pink fresh studio as um the title it's gonna overlap in the sky there because I have a lot of sky showing. It's a photo of the resort in which we stayed. So I have this Mente um, laser cut chipboard. Um, I have a friend who says she hates chipboard, but I am challenging her to start using chipboard because this isn't what you think of when you think of chipboard. It is not nearly as, um, uh, I don't know what the word is. It's just a little heavier than paper really. And it's not dark. Um, it's going to take some embossing powder really well. It's really light color, almost like a manila color, really just a cream, like very light. Um, and so you can take ink, paint, embossing powder to color it up really easily. It doesn't smell bad. I like the way it smells because it's laser cut. It kind of smells like sawdust, which is like a big Thing that I like to smell. So um, I will be getting all the Mente chipboard pieces because I'm now obsessed. Um, I am taking Heidi Swap's stamp therapy class. And so you're going to see a lot of stamping from me soon. And I figured that this album would be a good thing to use the stamping as like a repeating element throughout the album to kind of bring a cohesive look to it. So right now I am stamping kind of like a subtitle part of my page so i have this full uh block that i'm using in squeeze lemonade distress oxide and i'm gonna basically use all the colors that are in that rainbow paper from 49th the market so i'm gonna use some alpha stamps and the subtitle is gonna say let's get this vacation started i think that's what it says yeah let's get vacation started maybe that's what it says anyway I do these alphas one by one just because I couldn't get them close enough together on my stamping block so I wanted them to kind of overlap a little bit so I stamped them one by one I love distress oxides because you can stamp on top of the other colors and it doesn't blend and it doesn't disappear it sits on top of the original stamped ink and so you can do a lot of layering which I super love so I grabbed all those colors from that 49th and market spectrum sherbet rainbow paper and I use them in this stamping set so I stamped the little subtitle and then I'm going to go in and stamp like a sun image and I'm going to go in and stamp like a little definition image um and I just am really enjoying stamping and I think that's going to be bring a really nice cohesive look to my album stay tuned I only have a few page pages done right now so it'll take a little while for me to uh test that theory out but I will show you um so I have my pieces here. I die cut, or I didn't die cut that. I wanted to do like a little um, tag strip, what do you call it, fishtail on either end, but I didn't really leave myself enough room. So it's just gonna be a rectangle, which is fine. 
Um, what am I doing now? Now I'm going to work on the chipboard piece, the mente chipboard. Um, so it's this palm tree over here and you can use either side. So I wanted it to go on the left side. So I needed to flip it over from like maybe what you would call the front of the chipboard page. And I'm just sticking it onto my embossing pad by Sizzix. This was in a cherry box a while back. Um, those cherry boxes are really nice. You guys, you should definitely check those out. Um, but I just smushed it down onto the pad and then I'm going to use this, turquoise embossing powder by Sizzix as well also in the cherry box to do like the leaves of the palm tree and this is where I did make a little bit of a mistake I should have gone ahead and cured this with my heat gun before doing the other color but I didn't so I have to go back and like fix a couple little boo-boos from where I pick it up but it's okay um it still looks good so then I use this wow embossing powder and I think it's called sunset boulevard to do the stem and it's just like um orange glitter and it's turned out really nice. So I let my heat gun heat up for just a couple seconds before I start zapping the um, chipboard. But there I go, the magic happens, the powder melts and cures, and it's so fun. And this is just such a fun way to add a lot of interest and special, um, special effects kind of to your um, pages. So highly recommend that Mente chipboard. It takes to um, heat embossing very nicely. So now I'm going to add a little texture to my page. I'm going to rough up the edges with my um, distressor here. And I do ink up the rainbow portions that I um, distress here, but I actually left the white kind of stark. I liked that look. I didn't want to ink that up because I had all of the ink on that other subtitle that I'm going to be adding onto the white paper. So I just like to keep that stark. It was just a design choice. No, no other rhyme or reason really. And, um, I will take this opportunity to let you know there is a link down below if you would like to go check out my blog post today for Cherry on Top. Um, I also have my affiliate link if you would like to go shopping and grab any of the summary items if you have your own BG album to start working on. Um, I'm really I'm really getting going on this album and I'm having a good time doing it. Um, I haven't done an 8x8 in a while, so this is fun. Do you um, do different size albums? Um, let me know down below in the comments. I would love to hear about your thoughts on that. Um, so again, I'm using my guides here to make sure that I'm just keeping it eight by eight so it will fit into my page protector. And I want to have like an equal amount of the rainbow paper sticking out on either side. So these paper, of course, I ran out of adhesive halfway through the video, right? Um, these papers are super thick and luxurious. Very, very nice. And I think in the six by eight, it comes with either three or four of the same pattern so it doesn't hurt as bad to cut into them because you know you always have more to hoard so <laughs> if you're like me <laughs> oh man so I don't even back this with a white border because I'm really loving the way that it looks on the background plus I'm covering up basically most of the sides here um with all the other elements that I'm putting on the page I decide to rough up the edges of that stamped subtitle Again, I wanted to fishtail it. I think that would have looked really nice. I should have just stamped a little bit of extra yellow on either end so I would have left room to do that. But I also ink up the edges with the lime green color. I think it's called Citrone, some kind of Citrone. Twisted Citrone, you can see it right there. Um, and this is when I decide that I want a piece of pink, a pop of pink, and so I go back to the Mente um, 12 by 12 sheet of chipboard. And I grabbed this hibiscus flower, but I don't have pink embossing powder, but never fear because I just put it on to my Distress Oxide ink pad and I color it up there and you could leave it like that, but I had the glitter over there on the palm tree. So I wanted some glitter on hibiscus as well. So I used this really nice kaleidoscope embossing powder I have. It's just like clear, but it adds rainbow glitter on top which um, if you watch any of my videos, you know that's totally my jam. Glitter and rainbow together, yes please. <laughs> so um, that's what I'm doing here is I'm just um, putting um, the heat embossing powder on, or the, the ink on, then the powder, and heating it up. Just watch your fingers, <laughs> it was a little piece. So I know they do make tools actually that will hold your pieces for you so you don't burn yourself when you're doing that. I don't have that tool obviously, so I take risks every day when I'm crafting. It's rough out there. So it's time to start adhering everything down. I stuck the photo down and then I'm gonna use my Nuvo adhesive to stick down all the other elements. 
I'm really loving how this is turning out. It was a beautiful place to stay. Um, yeah, I'm loving that. And then after I get these chipboard elements and the stamp image down, I'm just gonna finish it off with a few of those puffy stickers you see over on the right. Those are from the Coco Vanilla Studios um, Sun Guest Collection from 2021. But they were just like the perfect little sizes. While we were waiting for our room, we had a drink, we were wearing our sunglasses. It was really beautiful. Actually, it was kind of starting to storm here, which I think is why the suck guy looks really cool. So we were actually in our room by this time and sitting on the balcony when I took this photo. Loving it. I'm just gonna pull in my pocket page to see how they look. I'm liking it next to one another. I'm just gonna add one little strip here and we're gonna call it a day thank you guys so much for watching check out the links down below go check out the blog post um use my affiliate link if you would like to go shopping i'd really appreciate it and i'd love it if you'd like and subscribe thank you guys so much for watching bye y'all